welcome back to the channel from the title of the video you know what it's about go down you need to watch the video to the end um this video i'm going to reveal some secret ingredients healthy ingredients that you need to add to your granite soup transfer and also you will learn new way of preparing your granite soup thank you so much for clicking this video i really appreciate your support if you are new i really really appreciate you please subscribe to the channel and join the family turn your post notification on and be part of this awesome family please like the video and make sure you watch today all right now let's get straight into my recipe like our recipe because i could uh or prepare the meal with my auntie right so we started with um our boiled turkey berries pepper onion tomatoes with the pepper we use both the green and then the red whichever one you want yeah it's to your preference so we decided to add turkey berries this is one of the secret ingredients i was talking about i'm sure most of you don't add turkey berries to your um, granite soup or even palm nut um some may add it to their light soup because some use the same board uh, pepper onion um turkey berry and some will also add garden eggs to it but i think it's quite a different way of preparing palm nut soup i'm sure people don't do this um they just add the pepper and the tomatoes into the soup and then alongside they take it out and blend so this is my recipe a healthy way right so you can look at it and then replic uh, replicate it all right so we boiled it to uh, the texture we wanted a very smooth texture uh, let me talk a little bit about the turkey berries turkey berries is very healthy um it's rich in iron and so if you're looking at, looking for boosting your blood levels try as much as possible to add this to every stew and every soup it's not limited to granite soup or peanut butter soup no you can use it for your palm nuts you can use it for your seals and any other um delicacy you would want to you can add it to it all right so we blended it yeah blended it to a very fine texture and then we added it to the other ingredients that are part of the soup and so i will encourage all of us to add thicky berries to your stews and your soups okay a lot of onions pepper also how you would want it the quantity to your preference um tomatoes in the yield um some would ask that uh, adding tomatoes here what about um the the grounded or the tomato paste you get to see alongside the video okay so just stay tuned and watch the video today. and so we when we were done um we added it to the next ingredient which was our protein sauce so you can see some fish in the smoked one dried one and you can see some chicken wings in there yes yeah the chicken wings was already steamed this is not a fresh one we already steamed it with some ginger garlic and other natural spices now this is the main ingredient the peanut butter so it was also steamed we added, this is where the tomato paste came in so we added it to it and then we added some water we allowed it to boil on the fire until um the oil flats on top of it and then we allow it to cool then uh, yeah this is precursor so we added precursor to our granite soup it's not only used for palm nut soup you can add precursor to your light soup you can add it to your peanuts butter soup or granite soup you can add it um to okra however we i think now it's even blended it's in a blended form where you can just add it as a nat it's a natural spice that is rich in antioxidant flavonoids that helps to boost your immune system so please do add breakfast to your meals so yeah this is our protein the blended turkey berries um, onion pepper and tomatoes um, will be added very soon to this particular one so yes so we added it to it that was it Mansi was adding it was adding uh, it to it so we added the blended turkey berries pepper tomatoes and then the onion so we allowed it to boil to some points okay for for it to steam a little before we added the main ingredient please consider adding um a lot of protein when i say a lot of protein not necessarily when you addition your meal because this particular soup is not to be eaten at a go it's going to be eaten for a period of time okay it's like i'm preparing for the whole week yes so it's quite a lot so don't look at it as if i'm using a lot of protein in this particular soup no um we do to it be eaten at a time and for a period of a time so those who are also looking forward to preparing uh, food in bulk this is the best way for you if you're preparing in bulk also helps you to save time i'll do a special video on that um the benefit of preparing in bulk 
all right so then it was ready we have to add our almighty main ingredients so we added the steamed or boiled peanut butter yes so this i think this was the final stage because everything had already been in there so we added also salt to taste don't forget that we didn't add any artificial spices i don't want to mention a brand but we didn't add any the natural spices were enough and the breakfast the ginger the garlic even the turkey berries gave it another touch another taste which was okay for us so we didn't add any of that of course as a dietitian um i i, I didn't add that because with those ones they also tend to um they also tend to uh, uh, pose us to some disease conditions so it helps to uh, gravitate um blood pressure and even stroke and stuff so we don't really palpitations and a whole lot so i don't really encourage us to use artificial spices so yeah so uh, we were done and we were going to allow it to boil and then allow it to get good so i think at a point the other saucepan was too small so we later changed it to a bigger one to accommodate the soup because the soup was quiet a lot all right and so we allowed it to boil and this one hack that you need to take note remember when you're boiling up palmer soup do not increase the temperature of the fuel or the fire under please make sure the temperature is moderate lower the temperature so that you allow the soup to boil and get cooked don't be in a hurry and also prevents it from over boiling and getting uh, uh, into the fire and a whole lot of issues if you lower the temperature it helps it to boil well and allows the oil to come and settle on top so you can be able to scoop it okay yeah so this was it it was um ready to boil and so we are going to leave it for i think for about uh, 45 to an hour uh yeah that is 45 to an hour and it was done so thank you so much for watching the video wow yeah so this at this point the soup was ready so you can see our fire was um as was lowered just to allow it to take time to boil yeah so this was my simple recipe you realize that it's not so sophisticated it's so simple but it has all the necessary ingredients that we needed for our palm nuts sorry our granite soup i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something new a new way of preparing your granite soup a way a new way also uh, of adding some new ingredients um that are healthy uh, for us so when we're done you realize that there's a lot of oil on top of the soup so we took time and then we scooped all of the oil that oil could also be used for something else i think when i'm preparing another stew i'll use it or even when i'm yeah i think i'll use it for steam in a stew okay all right so if you've watched to this end then you've really learned something thank you so much for watching the video to this far i really really appreciate it. please if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel turn your post notification on please like the video after watching let's share the video let's share the link okay and be part of this awesome family so let's comment down below which other meal would you want me to bring your way the healthy way uh, the healthy ingredient you would want if you have any question just type it in the comment section and i'll be ready to answer you thank you so much for your time and i will see you in the next one until then enjoy the view anyways you are invited all right you're really really invited okay i think later on we add this with uh fufu <laughs> so just watch my shorts i'll upload the the fufu with the granite soup thank you so much i really appreciate check me out on other social media handles instagram facebook and LinkedIn. thank you